All right, so I'm going to do a quick update video on my condition. I just talked to my doctor today. And also, I'm going to do a really uh, brief talk about uh, the mask that I wear for those people that are interested and uh, some new information I found out as well. Uh, first, uh, I found out from my doctor today that I do have two of the dreaded genes and I have uh, one of the intermediate ones. Uh, I also found out that <clears throat> the two chemicals in my body, essentially, that uh, where the brain talks to the immune system that are supposed to be detectable, are completely non-detectable in my body. So apparently my brain is not even <clears throat> communicating with my immune system. So, uh, again, if you could please uh, donate to my GoFundMe page, that'd be awesome. Uh, I really am trying to earn enough money to... Uh, start up uh, my own business so that would be great okay so anyway uh, UPS guy just rolled up perfect timing he uh, brought uh, some new filters for my mask I'm going to talk about that in just a second too uh, also my uh, two uh, the two types of inflammation they test for uh, usually, he said his patients just have one that's high. I have both that are basically off the charts, so there's a lot of inflammation in my body. Uh, probably because those, uh, you know, two uh, chemicals in my body are not really uh, present. Uh, so there's no communication with my immune system about what to do with all these mycotoxins that are in my body. Uh, all right, so please, if you can, uh, donate. That'd be awesome. I really need to get the money to start my own business. Uh, you know, me being as sensitive to mold as I am, I can't just go find a job in uh, a building because most buildings are water damaged. I haven't been in one building yet where uh, there isn't water damage, and uh, it's just really affected my life. It's crazy. Okay, so moving on to the mask for those people that are interested. Uh, now, I've been talking to a friend that I met in the mold group online, and uh, she actually went ahead and purchased one of these masks, too, except she got the full head cover. I didn't get that version. Uh, she wanted to keep the mycotoxins out of her, uh, out of her eyes as well. And so it, apparently it's worked really well for her, and she's going to do her own video on that and post it. Um, this is what... This is the mask I have. It's uh, the uh, M3, and you can get this over at Home Depot or Lowe's. I got mine at Lowe's. I'm sure there's other places you can go to get it too. I got the replacement filters for it at Uline. Uh, now, my filters lasted about two weeks, and I, they, I think they would have lasted longer. I think they probably would have lasted like three weeks, maybe even a month. Uh, but they didn't last that long uh, because we had a lot of rain here and I had to go out grocery shopping and of course my filters got rained on and so uh, I noticed when I was putting my mask on that I was my symptoms were going they were increasing instead of decreasing so I started to get some microbial growth in there I guess so anyway here's what the old filter looks like. Uh, you can see my picture of it up on my Facebook page when I have it on and how it's worn. Uh, it attaches pretty easy on the side here. There's one port there. There's another one on the other side. So, pretty simple. Uh, I got a new, uh, the filters I got at Uline are supposed to be uh, a lot better um, they, they have a lot of different uh, types on there. In fact, uh, they've got some, too, for different chemicals as well. So uh, you can really kind of uh, mix and match what kind of filters you need. And, uh, of course, the pricing goes up the more, uh, the more uh, that they do. But it's definitely worth it if you have mold problems or you have chemical sensitivities. Uh, for me personally... Uh, when I put on this mask and I have my filters on, uh, the majority of my symptoms clear up and uh, sometimes completely. Sometimes I have no symptoms at all and it's, it's just amazing to feel uh, normal again. Of course, you still feel the damage from uh, what's been done to your body. I mean, my body's been inflamed and sick for three years, uh, but um, you, 
you know, you have a chance then to heal at least, or if not heal completely, you know, this takes a long time to recover from. I've, I've uh, talked to people that um, don't recover because uh, they've got the dreaded genes. Um, I've talked to some people that have the dreaded genes and they manage to recover, but it takes two or three years. Uh, so it's all about trying to complete the steps, and the first step, uh, of course, is avoidance. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, being triggered by everything, including mulch. <laughs> mulch makes me sick, so it uh, brings back the muscle pain and the joint pain, so that's why I'm out in this mask a lot. And again, not one building I've been inside of yet that I don't react in. They say 50% of buildings are water damaged in the United States. I would have to say it's a lot more than that, and uh, people just don't, uh, they're not as sensitive as me, so they're not, you know, they're not going to uh, feel those microbes, and maybe even some of these tests. I can tell you for a fact, the HMRI test that I had done on my house, my house had mold, it has to be remediated. I did the uh, HMRI test, it's suge suggested through the uh, Shoemaker uh, protocol, and um it came back average. So, you know, according to that test, I could have stayed there. Well, you know, I didn't necessarily trust that and come to find out my house did have mold. So, uh, it's really tricky. Uh, anyway, so I hope that, uh, you know, that ex if, if you all have any questions or anything that you'll just go ahead and leave some comments for me and hopefully I can answer those for you uh, regarding the mask and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, if you can donate to my, uh, page, uh, I would really appreciate it if I could raise the funds that I need to be able to take care of my family again and help get myself better. That would be awesome. Thank you all very much, especially those of you that are already given. God bless you. I'll be praying for you.